My name is Rachel Kalmar and I am finishing up my PhD in neurosciences at Stanford. As you're walking around throughout the world, you're taking in all of the sensory information, and your brain needs to somehow turn this into the appropriate behavior. One of the motivations of our research is to build neurally controlled prosthetic devices for patients who are paralyzed or locked in. There's nothing wrong with their brain, but it's unable to communicate with their body, and so the idea is that we can take these signals from the brain to directly control, say, a cursor on a computer screen or a robotic arm, and my project is really about better understanding how these signals in the brain are controlling movement. There are a lot of people coming back from Iraq with lots of different problems and all of these kinds of patients would be able to benefit from this kind of research. My personal connection with medical technology, medical advances. Basically, I was growth hormone deficient and I started taking synthetic growth hormone injections when I was five years old. I took them every day for 10 years and now I'm five foot three and it's really made a big difference in my life being able to have access to that technology. From a very young age, I saw the power of being able to work on advances in biology and medical technology.